In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use stories to sort of make the most out of the survey template and do your best sort of survey template storytelling. Um, so let's get started. Um, so this is a survey visualization. As you can see, I'm in the visualization editor. And this is a survey that's showing um, each, each dot is a country in the world. Um, and it has a bunch of different sort of metrics, you can see when I hover over this one, Bolivia population area, population density, coastline, blah, blah, blah. So um, the problem with, uh, with the survey template is that you can't, so you can't sort of save the view that you have in the visualization editor. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I grouped these by continent and then sized or shaded them by continent, so each continent is a different color. We have, you know, uh, North America, Europe, Asia, etc. Um, and then I export and publish and go to that new published visualization. The visualization itself that I open, the public sort of URL for the visualization, comes back and shows me this without the groupings and shadings. Um, and that's because this is a sort of point of view that you can't save using the visualization editor. You need to use the story editor um, instead. So to make the best out of this survey template, it's really necessary to use um, stories. So here I am inside my visualization and I'm going to create a story. Um, and now once I'm in the story, I can start off here uh, on the first slide showing, you know, these are the countries in the world. Each dot represents one country. And then if I duplicate this slide, um, I can group those by continent and shade them by continent like I did in the visualization editor, but this time it will save this state. So here are the countries grouped and shaded by continent. You can see North America has the fewest number of countries. Um, and then I can sort of say I want to size by population. So now all the dots are sized by population in addition to being shaded by continent. Um, so I would say something here about, you know, Asia has, uh, both a large number of countries, sorry, number of countries as well as countries, as the countries with the largest populations. Um, and uh, one trick to know about this is that uh, you can get rid of this little box here. So because stories are interactive, you can always leave the box there and allow people who are looking at, you know, reading the story um, to sort of be able to group and stuff by themselves. But you can also delete this box um, so that it um, isn't possible for um, your your readers to um, change the groupings and stuff. Um, it, there's this box, this little uh, wheel here in the corner which lets you get the box back. So if you make a mistake, you can always change things. So for example, in this one, I'm gonna put them on the map, delete that. Um, and then it's often nice at the end of a survey story to um, give the readers a slide where they can um, sort of, uh, you tell them, to explore the data set themselves. So data set yourself using the box in the bottom right corner. Um, so if we take a look at this story now, publish it, um, it's quite visually um, striking uh, because the dots sort of dynamically move around and resize and then move on to the map. And this really is uh, the best way um, to use the story uh, visualization, to use the story template, uh, sorry, to use the survey visualization, the survey template, 
Um, and the, really the best way is to use it in conjunction with um, the story uh, feature. So I hope that explains a little more about uh, how to best use the survey template and what stories can do for your surveys.